Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. This special case of the chain rule has its own name, and it's called the general power rule. You have y equals some function of x raised to the n power. Then you bring the n out front, you subtract 1 from it, and you multiply times the derivative of what was the inside function. So here's an example saying differentiate using that you can use the chain rule, you can think of it as the chain rule, or you can think of it as the power rule, because both of these involve powers. It's really the same thing. This is just a specific case where the outer function is a power. So what does the general power rule tell us to do? It says when we have something with an x raised to a power, we bring the power out front, subtract 1 from it, but we have to multiply times the derivative of whatever that was that was being raised to the power. So this is going to be 17 times what? x minus 9 to the 16th. And I'm going to write that. You don't have to write this part, but just to, so everybody realizes there is something else happening here. Times the derivative of x minus 9. But what's the derivative of x minus 9? Just 1. So this is 17 times x minus 9 to the 16th times 1. Or in other words, just 17 times x minus 9 to the 16th power. All right, now part B, you have a little bit of rewriting to do before you even start taking the derivative. How would we rewrite part B, though? 4 times 2x plus 1 to the negative 1 fifth. Good. Okay, go ahead and take that derivative. What are we going to write? We're going to write y prime equals, and we're going to have, the 4 stays the same, right, because it's a coefficient, 4 times Bring the power out front, so we have negative one-fifth times the 2x plus 1 stays the same. Subtract 1 from the exponent gives us, good, negative six-fifths times the derivative of 2x plus 1. And what's the derivative of 2x plus 1? 2. That's right. So multiplying... 4 times 2 times negative 1 fifth, that's going to be negative 8 fifths, right? So bringing this into the denominator, this is going to be negative 8 over 5 times 2x plus 1 to the 6 fifths. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.